Coach Morrow was saying that the Stanford loss was one that needed to hurt for you guys. How have you kind of dealt with it over the last few weeks? Um, yeah, you know, it, it definitely was a hurtful loss. Uh, I think I'm just getting over it today, actually, with the uh, practice getting out back on the field to shake everything off. So um, it happens. It's, uh, it's part of the game. Uh, we have to correct a lot of things. Um, but, you know, <clears throat> overall pretty successful season, not the one that – you know, we had, you know, planned, but we have a great team coming back, and we're looking forward to our last game versus Kansas State. So um, to finish off with a big win against Kansas State would be, you know, definitely a, a great thing for our, the future. How do you overcome lingering disappointment in, um, in getting yourself up for a game like Kansas State, which is still a pretty good game? I think that uh, after, you know, a couple weeks of or a week and a half of, you know, just sitting there moping around, I think that it's time that all of us just kind of get back into understanding that we have another game to play. So to get over that um, takes maturity um, from us, from the leaders, um, the position leaders. So, to, you know, to get everybody back on track and understand that we have a big game coming up. What was different about your guys' bull prep last year versus your freshman year? And can you take anything from that, preparing for this one after a disappointing end to the season? Right. We uh, were actually doing the same exact stuff we've done last year. Um, maybe... You know, our 10, 10 o'clock curfew, stuff like that, kind of keeps everybody uh, organized and um, ready for the bowl. So um, we didn't change a lot. We kind of just were a lot, you know, tired of losing, I would say. So we, we understood that bowl is fun, but bowl is, you know, time to compete still. So we just came out and practiced hard, and that's what we have to do this time. Have you given any thought to, uh, you know, your junior putting in a, for a grade or anything like that with the draft? Um, I'll definitely sit down and um, you know discuss putting in stuff after the, after our last game. So. Yeah. In terms of you know obviously this is going to be Brett's game, the last game you get to play with him at least for the foreseeable future. When as a wide receiver, how do you guys look at his legacy and what he's kind of left behind after these last three years? Well, I think he's you know one of the greatest UCLA quarterbacks you know ever. So. Um, to be able to play with him and to have, you know be able to sit here and, and talk about him and um, you know be able to be on the sidelines with him was a tremendous you know honor for me. Um, definitely something I can tell you know my family, my kids, you know because he's he's done so much in this school in school history that you know for him since you know he beat USC three years in a row, um, it's just it's just unbelievable for him. So uh, you know it's, I hate to see him. You know, I hear all the talk about him leaving next year, you know, leaving, so I might as well just hop on you. Yeah, <laughs> but if he leaves, then I hate to see him go, but I understand. So tough expectations for anyone to fill, someone like him who comes in and everyone expects him to be the savior and lead right. you guys to Pac-12 titles. And obviously he did a lot, but, you know, in, in those terms, he technically, you know, didn't bring you guys to a Pac-12 title, and some people will look at that. Do you think that's just kind of unfair in terms of evaluating him? I think it's life. You know, I think that... uh you know, when you're on that big of a stage and anything, you know, if you look at CEOs, presidents of universities, they all have to, you know, live up to expectations. And if it's not, then everyone looks at you like a failure. They forget the, the small details that we all know, you know. So Brett is, um, is a remarkable person. He's a hardworking guy. And uh, we all respect him, you know, to the fullest. And we understand what he's done for this university. So it may look like a, a non-successful season or a career or whatever because you couldn't get you know our big games, but there was so much more to it, and we understand that. How much do you think a win over Kansas State would take that bad taste out of your mouths, maybe the mouths of fans too? I think that it would be you know an amazing thing for us to go and beat the number eleven team in the country, um, you know, in a big bowl. So um, that's definitely what we're working for. Um, it's going to be tough. They're you know, an extremely good team. They play, I mean, it's perfect football almost. They don't make any mistakes. I'm extremely disciplined. So it's going to take one of our best games we've ever played, and you know, we're definitely going to be ready for it. Cool. cool.